What's up, y'all? It's Friday. I left work a little early, <laughs> so don't tell nobody. But what time is it? It's about to be two o'clock. Um. Okay, it's raining. And what the fuck? Like nobody can drive in the rain. I don't get what's going on. Okay. It's raining. Number. I said it's raining because not because I wanted to bitch about people driving, but because I'm not using the road mic. So I realized in my last video when I was talking with the road mic on my um, on my seatbelt, I felt like the the sound was really sharp. Like there wasn't really no bass. It was like it was like sharp and like this like real like treble. Something with the the audio levels, right? I took it off and I'm just I, I, I adjusted the microphone with the app. If when you get a road mic, um there's no like buttons to press on it to change the settings directly from the mic. You have to plug it into your phone and the phone opens up an app and then the app shows you the settings, right? So the gain assist being turned up was fucking with me. I guess cause this camera already has pretty loud, you know, like microphone um, capabilities. I feel like it already hears pretty, it can pretty much hear everything. Y'all probably hear the windshield wipers. Y'all probably hear the heat I got on. Y'all probably hear like, I know y'all be hearing the horns honk, brake squeak, everything. Oh, it's Friday. I'm about to I'm about to go to Best Buy right quick. My barber put on Instagram that he had an opening at three. Um, my appointment was for five. And so I text him, I was like, you still got three available? He was like, yeah. Cause I just wasn't feeling staying at work all day until five o'clock for my appointment. That's really the only reason why I would have stayed later at work today anyway, was because I wouldn't have had to leave until 4.30. But yeah, nobody was in the office. It, the weather looks like shit. Like it's rainy, cold, nasty. I was like, yes, any excuse to leave the office early, I'm gonna take it. So, oh, I, I'm going to, <laughs> I keep skipping over shit. But I'm going to Best Buy because I need to get a different memory card for my Osmo Pocket. But yeah, this rain is like beating on a window. I don't know if y'all can even hear me. That's why I'm like low key yelling and trying to hurry up and get through what I'm saying. So I'm talking fast as fuck. I'm gonna get see y'all at Best Buy. So before I go to the batteries, I'm just looking at like all kind of accessories they got in here. To be honest, I've had this. It was one of these Gorilla Pods. Um, to be honest, waste some money. I just feel like if you're not like a action person, cause these are like built to be like attached to things. Like, like you see on here or like wrap around like a pole and stuff. Um, which I mean, I guess it's cool if you like, maybe you want to use it like on your steering wheel or something or something in the car maybe. But other than that, not really. I'm looking while I'm talking to y'all. Um, I do see this light down here, though. Look. That could be useful. Because I'm really trying to do more, like, um, like self-facing content on TikTok. Because I feel like my TikTok right now is very, like, I'm just repurposing what I post on Instagram. And that is... Probably why my TikTok is not really growing, cause it's, I'm just reposting shit from tic, from Instagram, you know. So I feel like I might need to up my game a little bit for TikTok. Oh, look at this, y'all! This is on sale for twenty nine dollars. I need a new carrying case, cause right now I'm carrying all my shit in like a satchel bag. Um, yes. If this is what it. If this is correct, like this is $30, then I'm getting this. Y'all see this? Look how big, look how many compartments it is on the inside. And there's like side pockets and stuff too. Got that. Now let me go to the SD cards. Oh, y'all, I was looking at this camera for so long. This right here. Um, it's $849. I had it for a minute and then I had it twice and I returned it twice. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm just like, don't know how to use it. I don't have the correct, like, I don't know. Maybe it was the lens. Sometimes it's not the camera, it's the lens. 
But anyway, um, okay, here we are. SD cards. I think they said Extreme Pro, but it needs to be a, a mini. The minis, I see Extreme Plus. <laughs> I don't see an Extreme Pro, like, my, oh, it's not even called a mini, it's called a micro. But I don't even see an Extreme, Extreme, wait, hold on, hold on, y'all. I'm about to fact check myself. Let's pull back up Reddit. It might have been Extreme Plus. I see. Yeah, Sandisk Extreme Pro. And these are Sandisk Extreme. Oh, there's no way that they don't have. There's no way. They're probably in the back somewhere. Maybe on a different aisle. I need to hurry up because I got to get back to the barber. Even though he's right down the street. But still, I don't like being late. So, Y'all are probably so fucking crooked, by the way. I just threw this camera down. I wonder, would it be, could I use it with, would it be with like the gaming SD cards? I'm turning it around, cause maybe y'all will see it. Oh. No, see that's like a different format. I don't think PlayStation even takes micro SD. Yeah, it would have been with the Nintendo Switch. Wait, is that thing in, oh. <laughs> I have a um a car mount and I thought it was in the way. All right, so I got this. Hopefully it's focusing. I can't really see because um the car mount is in the way of the viewfinder. It was not on the DJI website, but I mean people who have the camera and have this SD card were saying that um this works in there. So I'm about to see. I'm oh damn, can I even get the memory card in though? All right. Yes, no message. Can y'all see? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Gimbal endpoints reached, that's fine. But as long as it doesn't say. Isn't that so like funny? Y'all can see me through the screen. As long as it doesn't say SD card slow, I'm good. All right, well, mission accomplished. I have a few minutes. I need to go to the beauty supply store and it's right there like i'm in this, the same shopping center i really gotta slow my talking down because i noticed when i talk fast my top lip does like this <laughs> like it makes it like i have no top lip when i talk fast because i tighten my lips up when i'm trying to get my stuff out so and that's an insecurity for me so we're gonna speak slowly i'm gonna speak more slowly I'm gonna not speak loud, cause I always talk like this and that's loud as fuck. I'm gonna speak <laughs> slowly and I'm gonna speak more gently. I'm gonna think about what I'm saying before I say it. Um, and we're gonna just take life slow and easy. Enjoy life. Pull out the camera, record this moment. If you don't wanna record the moment, just still slow down and appreciate the moment. That's what it boils down to. Yeah, I'm not going to test it with the beauty supply. I'm going to just go because knowing my luck, it'll probably be a wreck or something, even though it's down the street. Let's knock, knock on something. Knock on the horn. I don't have no wood in here. I'm going to stop talking shit. I'm going to see y'all after the barber. Cafe Kama is for real, like my new spot. Like, oh, I got the same lavender latte, but I got it warm because it's raining. Not warm. I got it hot because <laughs> it's raining. Um, why does it taste completely different? I was like, hopefully y'all can hear me. I got to turn the defrost on right quick. But I was like, okay, this tasted totally different when um, I got the ice version. But I do know, sometimes drinks do be tasting different depending on if you get it hot or ice. Um, I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's like something with the ice. 
maybe the ice and the water in the ice messes with like how stuff tastes or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, um, I got so much shit in my passenger seat. My car thinks somebody else is sitting in the seat because of all this shit I got. I guess the weight, um, what is it, like a weight sensor is going off. I think I got somebody in the seat with me. So I, I kind of, I think I want to start filming my vlogs and my reels on like log format just because um, I feel like with log format, you get so much more creative freedom to make your videos have a specific look that you want. Um, so basically, just kind of giving y'all a quick rundown and y'all can look this up further. I'm just giving you kind of like what my understanding of it is and real brief. So log format is basically, it's a form of recording that they use to record. So why am I saying recording? It sounded old as fuck. It's a form of filming that they use to film TV shows and movies and just like, like commercials, like productions, right? And the way that Log shoots a video, the colors are very muted. Um, and it's, it kind of almost looks great. Like it almost shoots in kind of like a dull-ish black and white format. So then once you put that footage into your editor, like Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, whatever, some people use DaVinci. I haven't really got into that. But so basically, what from there, when you import the footage into your um, editing software, you're then able to adjust like saturation, hue, temperature, uh, sharpness, exposure, brightness, what else? Detail, noise, all that. You're pretty much able to control more of what the end result looks like than if you're just to shoot in like the auto format. And so right now, just because I have, my computer is a 2014. We're now in 2024. We already know that Apple products are not built to last. The fact that my MacBook has lasted 10 years and all that I've had to change on it so far was, I think I had to change. If something fucked up during COVID, I think I ran, I was playing Sims a lot during COVID, y'all. And I think I just maybe, I downloaded a virus or something or I was downloading mods and stuff. And I think it maybe was too much for the computer. So I had to, you know, put more storage on it. So that was, that's, fingers crossed, that's all that I've had to deal with in terms of like MacBook issues over the 10 years of having it. But with that, the performance is just not what it needs to be to edit, you know, a video that's filmed in log format. Even filming like regular vlogs. Okay. First of all, I'm distracted and I'm saying the wrong words. They didn't put a signal light on. Not filming, editing. It's editing, even a regular vlog is time consuming and the computer freezes and it like it overheats and just a lot be going on when I'm trying to edit a vlog normally. So I don't even want to attempt to push my 10 year old MacBook to its limits by trying to edit a video shot with log format and then, excuse me, having to color grade, export in 4K, you know what I mean? That's just too much. So I think I'm gonna just do a trial run of log format on Reels first with my phone. I, I pretty much mastered it, shooting it and editing log format videos on my phone. But now I wanna try it on my DJI since the DJI is capable of shooting in like in D-Log. So I wanna say, should I should just jump into it, right? Let's just start shooting in log format starting this weekend. 
for my reels. So make sure that y'all are following me. Um, my camera just stopped recording. This is what I mean. The Sony, this Sony, the battery life sucks. I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, and then I'm on the way home. But I think I wanna, I'm, I must just start shooting log format and color grading my reels with my phone and my DJI. And y'all can follow me on Instagram and just like keep up with my progress. But yeah, I'm, I'm like speeding through this because I don't want this camera to stop recording. So I'm behind Target. Um, hopefully y'all can see my fit. But yeah, these are polarized glasses, so I really can't even see the screen. I guess that means it's doing its job, huh? I'm about to take pictures. I think I'm taking pictures with the camera first, and then I'll take some with my phone. So I'm gonna have to do like an intermission because y'all not gonna be able to see while I'm taking pictures. Um, hopefully y'all get a sneak peek. Anyway, BRB. Can't take that way to turn. In my own life, we can't merge. Yeah. So with no hands, you can learn. Yeah. Let's see how much you can earn. Yeah. Why me go be like the worm? Yeah. And I ain't smoking no shirt. I'm in the big P lit. Keep it, keep it. I love my bitches. It's pretty they show it. My books a million. I'm trying to find a journal. Um, but I'm also like just looking. I was at the like foreign language books because I was seeing if they had any Portuguese workbooks that I don't already have and they don't. <laughs> I don't know, Brazilian Portuguese is not like all the stuff that I've been seeing, like the like the resources I guess. You have to get them from like Amazon or um what is it? Like a like an e workbook or like a digital workbook. They don't really have a lot. That you can like actually write with like physically and then i was looking at like art books for like decoration but honestly that's i'm probably better off getting that from like a thrift store or something also it's so crowded y'all i guess sunday is like the bookstore day i didn't realize that but there's a lot of people in here anyway i'm about to go back downstairs and see if i can just get my journal the kind of journal i want i, I want more of like a guided journal Cause all my journals now are real like just like free form like just free writing journals and i want something that's more like themed and more like guided to kind of i guess keep me on track and keep me um focused i guess because on the free form like just like the free writing journals i tend to kind of like go off <laughs> on like tangents and I kind of lose what the point of me journaling was while I'm writing. So, yeah. Oh, remember I showed y'all I got this um, Sony camera bag? It's actually coming in real handy. This is like my new like walk around bag. Anyway, yeah, let's go back downstairs. Um. Okay, so I did not find a journal. I don't know what Books A Million did, but it's like, first of all, the journals were in a whole separate section than what they normally are. And then when I went, so when I found where they were, it was like one wall of journals. And they were just like color coded. But with them being color coded, there was no like organization of like free write journals, um, like self-help journals, prompt journals. It was just like, arranged like a rainbow <laughs> so when i was going through them i mean i found a a couple that were prompted like you know kind of going in the direction that i wanted but they were like real super super specific like this is the self-awareness journal and it had examples like today i was aware of myself by xyz like no, that's, I mean, I don't really, I don't think I need that. They were either totally like nothing in the journal or they were completely super, super, super specific. And I was like, uh, nah. I think the issue is everything nowadays is like digital journal, like digital, like writing in like a notion or like a, like your notes app 
bro. Even like the journals app on iPhone, because iPhone has a journal app now. And I was like, okay, this none of this is what I want. Like, oh shit. This camera just shook so fucking hard. Hold on. Okay, hopefully I'm still in the frame. Potholes in Atlanta are so, like the whole, the whole thing just shook, y'all. Anyway, I'm gonna have to just maybe Etsy some journal prompts. Etsy normally has like really good, like digital journal prompts that you can put on your phone or your iPad. Um, if you have, what's it called? I think it's called Good Notes, that app. Good Notes, and then there's another note app, like another note journal app on iPad um, that you can get. But yeah, I'm gonna just have to look on there. Um, to be honest, y'all, I think this is about to be the end of this vlog. <laughs> it's Sunday, I'm not really doing nothing. I only, I really wasn't even supposed to leave the house. Um, but I just kind of wanted to look for that journal just to get you know, so that I could start it tonight, Sunday night, and then keep it going through the week. Um, but yeah, it looks like that is not gonna happen unless I find something, like I said, digital. But anyway, um, oh, you know what? So yesterday I recorded like a whole morning routine in like log format on my, what's it called? Um, on the, the Osmo Pocket? trash i i still got to do some research and like learn about how to actually film in that log format and then color grade it, color grade it and edit it so that it looks how i want it to look because when i was filming with the log format it looked nice the lighting was good all that but then when i went to edit it came out so fuzzy, y'all. I don't know what. I think it has something to do with the exposure when you film it. And something maybe with the um, the white balance. I'm not sure. But, yeah, that's still a work in progress. I really wanted to post the reel that I posted today. Film it in log form and then color grade it and have it look really, really nice with like nice color grading and all that. But um, yeah, that's obviously not gonna happen. So, but I mean, that's just another example of if you wanna be good at something, you gotta be bad first. <laughs> and you gotta practice first before you can like be a master at it, which is cool. I'm coming to terms with that. Cause I used to be the kind of person where I was like, if I'm not good at it, like on my first try, I'm just like, fuck it. Cause I like, I'm that kind of perfectionist where I like to be good at stuff when I do it. And so before, like if I wasn't good at something, my first or second try, it would just be like, well, damn, why am I even doing this? Like, why am I even wasting my time with this, you know? But yeah, anyway, make sure you check out the reel that I posted today. Today's Sunday. This video probably is going up Monday. I looked at another side note. <laughs> I looked at the analytics. Because I finally have, I guess, because I've uploaded like a month worth of videos. So my analytics are finally kind of like starting to show on YouTube. Um, so it looks like the majority of the people who watch my videos, whether or not they're subscribed, I get the highest peak on Monday after like 5.30, which makes sense. Y'all are coming home from work. Y'all want something to watch to wind down, you know, while you're coming in from the gym or coming in from work, coming in from school. So that makes sense. So I think I gotta keep, I gotta really keep that in mind, my analytics on YouTube. It's not just about, you know, pushing out content and like making sure it looks good. It's also about feeding into the algorithm and feeding into what is proven to work for my channel and my audience. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Yeah. Okay.